Julia Fox has made a bold fashion statement that seems to double as a dig at her ex, Kanye West. The model and actress was spotted in New York City on Monday, flaunting a striking dress from Gap, a brand currently at odds with her former partner. Fox turned heads in a chic, leggy Zach Posen design created specifically for the brand. She proudly showcased her outfit on Instagram, embracing the viral brat girl summer trend while highlighting the collaboration between Posen and Gap. Her choice of attire appears to be a deliberate nod to Kanye West's ongoing dispute with the retailer. West, who ended his relationship with Gap in late 2022, had accused the brand of breaching their 10-year contract by failing to release the promised apparel or open stores. Following their split, Yeezy Gap merchandise was swiftly pulled from shelves and online. Reports from last year reveal that Gap sought over $2 million from Kanye to cover potential costs from a lawsuit alleging unauthorized modifications to a Yeezy storefront. Additionally, his team recently claimed that around $1.2 million worth of Yeezy Gap apparel about 60,000 items had mysteriously disappeared from his warehouse. Kanye West made some bold choices during his latest DJ set, playing tracks from both Diddy and Herb Kelly back-to-back, -back, according to updates shared by producer Mike Hector on social media. Hector, who was present at the event, posted on X, I'm at this party, and Kanye DJing. He played two Diddy songs, and then an R. Kelly song right after. This an asterisk 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 do not give AF asterisk CK West's decision to include R. Kelly in his set is consistent with his history of supporting the art of controversial figures. In 2019, during a Sunday service performance, West discussed the idea of separating the art from the artist, arguing that despite the erratic behavior of some artists, their work should still be appreciated. He also referenced both R. Kelly and Diddy in his single Carnival, rapping, Anybody pissed off, gotta make him drink the urine now I'm E. Kelly, B. Asterisk TCH, now, I'm Bill Cosby, B. Asterisk TCH now, I'm Puff Daddy Rich, that's hashtag me to me rich. The rapper has faced criticism for his stance on controversial figures, including a notorious 2022 interview on Drink Champs, where he labeled Diddy a fed. West's latest DJ set is sure to stir further debate about his support for artists with problematic pasts. Bianca Sensori and another female guest were seen dancing very close to each other at her husband's party. Bianca Sensori was recently seen raising the temperature with her suggestive dance moves this weekend. A video captured at a private party thrown by her husband Kanye West and rapper Ty Dolla Sign who dropped their Vultures follow-up album Vultures 2 on August 3 has emerged on the internet. Bianca, 29, can be seen grooving to her husband's DJ set at the LA party on Sunday as he played Snoop Dogg's song Drop It Like It's Hot. The Australian architect was then joined by another female guest next to her vibing to his playlist with some eccentric dance moves. At one point, the woman also held Bianca by the waist as they danced really close to each other. Next, Kanye drove the crowd into a frenzy as he played his hit track Field Trip from the new album. For a change, Bianca was in a more sophisticated outfit than her usual, controversial sheer garments. She did stick to her usual sleek updo for the Vulture's two-second celebration. West also ditched his baggy hoodie for a short-sleeved black shirt, completing his look with a chain around his neck and a pair of sunglasses. Bianca Sensori and another female guest were seen dancing very close to each other at her husband's party. Bianca Sensori was recently seen raising the temperature with her suggestive dance moves this weekend. A video captured at a private party thrown by her husband Kanye West and rapper Ty Dolla Sign who dropped their Vultures follow-up album Vultures 2 on August 3 has emerged on the internet. Bianca, 29, can be seen grooving to her husband's DJ set at the LA party on Sunday as he played Snoop Dogg's song Drop It Like It's Hot. The Australian architect was then joined by another female guest next to her vibing to his playlist with some eccentric dance moves. At one point, the woman also held Bianca by the waist as they danced really close to each other. Next, Kanye drove the crowd into a frenzy as he played his hit track Field Trip from the new album. For a change, Bianca was in a more sophisticated outfit than her usual, controversial sheer garments. She did stick to her usual sleek updo for the Vulture's two-second celebration. West also ditched his baggy hoodie for a short-sleeved black shirt, completing his look with a chain around his neck and a pair of sunglasses. 
The album The Tortured Poets Department of the singer of the hit Bad Blood, Taylor Swift, has taken the first position in the charts for the 14th time, leaving in the second position the last musical project Vulture's two rapper Kanye West, which he has in collaboration with Ty Dolla Sign, Swift's 11th album, which was released in April, is estimated to have sold about 142 units, while West has collected 107, Billboard reported. The rapper has released 11 albums that have reached the first place. Now Vultures 2 became the 13th to go to the top two. Swift's fans celebrated on social media after she defeated West, calling the singer a legend. It's good to see karma in action, one fan wrote. Taylor Swift ended Kanye West's career again, wrote another. The rivalry between Swift and West began in 2009 when, after Swift won the MTV VMA for Best Female Video, West came on stage to tell her that Beyonce has the best video of all time. And she deserves this award. After the reacted to West's lyrics, TV star Kim Kardashian, who was West's wife at the time, joined the scandal by claiming that West had followed protocol by getting approval from Swift before releasing the song. In December 2023, Swift restarted The Clash after being named Person of the Year by the prestigious Time magazine. That thing has brought me down psychologically, where I have never been before. I moved to an unknown country. I haven't left the house I rented for a year. I was afraid to take phone calls. I cut a lot of people out of my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I fell really low and it was very, very difficult," she said in the interview given to this magazine. The billionaire later released the song Thank You Amy, in which she sings to a mother who paints her skin with spray tans to look more tanned, who wishes she was dead. Fans had said that the capital letters of the title of this song form the word Kim. While Kardashian has not responded to Swift's lyrics, it has been reported that she wants to end the feud. Taylor Swift has served Kanye West a savage blow, having beaten him to the number one spot in the album charts, following his latest release. Kanye's run of 11 consecutive number one albums came to a halt as his new collaboration Vultures 2 with Ty Dolla Sign debuted just behind Taylor's The Tortured Poets Department. Despite Kanye's tumultuous year and controversial remarks, his album still managed to sell around 107,000 copies in its opening week, Billboard reports. On the flip side, Taylor's The Tortured Poets Department is dominating the charts in its 14th week at number one, while she wows fans on her sold-out global tour. Adding a twist to the rivalry, one of the tracks on Vultures 2 features a nod to Taylor, with Lil Wayne rapping. I twist my Taylor splits tight at the end like Travis Kelsey, referencing her current beau, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. Taylor has been a target for Kanye for the last 15 years, after he ambushed her on stage while she was accepting an award for her video at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. The unsuspecting young star was giving her acceptance speech when Kanye emerged on stage, grabbed the microphone from her and proceeded to declare that she shouldn't have one. He told the audience and Taylor. Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you, I'ma let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Since then, Taylor has endured further insults from Kanye, including derogatory lyrics in his songs, which he claimed she'd approved, though she firmly denied it, igniting a public spat involving Kanye and his ex, Kim Kardashian, who jumped into the fray with leaked footage of a call over the song. Kardashian even took a jab at Taylor with a tweet seemingly aimed at her on National Snake Day. The drama took its toll on the Shake It Off singer, who candidly expressed to Vogue in 2019 how the mass public shaming from the incident left her feeling very isolated. She told the publication, When you say someone is cancelled, it's not a TV show. It's a human being. You're sending mass amounts of messaging to this person to either shut up, disappear, or it could also be perceived as, kill yourself. She added. I knew immediately I needed to make music about it because I knew it was the only way I could survive it. It was the only way I could preserve my mental health and also tell the story of what it's like to go through something so humiliating.